am Father Don Wolf, pastor of St. Eugene Parish in Oklahoma City. Service in the church is something we talk about all the time. Truthfully, it's often a way to remind people that being faithful is a lot more than just going to church and saying our prayers. In fact, one of the familiar complaints of people throughout the 20th century was to compare the communist missionaries with our own. These young people dedicated to revolution spread out all over the globe to preach the doctrine of Karl Marx and the promise of subversive change. They often endured terrible hardships and much suffering, but many of them were willing to die for the change they believed in. Bishops asked, how do we compete with these secular martyrs of social change? Simply focusing on piety was not a remedy. Catherine de Hoke Doherty said that in France, she often couldn't get a priest just to walk through a communist neighborhood, partly because it was intimidating and mostly because they didn't think it was their job. They just didn't see the connection, she said, when it was the most obvious connection in the world. They just didn't make it a part of their spiritual lives. One way was a renewed focus on the authentic Christian life that included real service to the most downtrodden and the most forgotten. And we have responded, maybe with too much enthusiasm. There's hardly a confirmation class or a youth program that doesn't include a service project even at the price of not learning the faith well. The danger is turning the faith of saints and martyrs into a message of doing good. But to serve those around us is rooted in what we believe. It isn't something added on as a premium. To pray is to build a foundation for service, to lean our lives into the promise of another. Unless we're content for a day or a season, the life built on Christ is a life given over to serve one another. Remember in Matthew's Gospel, verse 25, Jesus addresses all of those before him at the end of time and separates the righteous and the evil as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And all of them say, who, me? The measure is what they've done to the least among us. But the purpose of their service was to see the face of Christ. We pray to know Christ's voice. We study and learn in order to know who is the Lord and we serve in order to see his face. That's service in the church. I'm Father Don Wolf.